Church Tech Weekly presents Infocom 2013, brought to you by Bose Professional Systems, committed to developing best-in-class products, tools, and services to create original audio experiences. All right, continuing our Infocom 2013 coverage, we are here to look at the Jans uh, Stage CL a small LED console that we've been hearing a lot about. We got PJ here and PJ is going to kind of run us through this thing with a first a warning that we were told specifically about this console. The warning is if you want to do moving lights don't use this console. It's just that simple. But other than that would you run us through the features of this because it's very very cool. I'd be happy to. Uh, the Jan Stage CL was designed as a stripped down console that is for LED fixtures and dimmers only. Uh, most people when they want to use LEDs their options are either to get a uh, multi-channel preset board which means that they're running for most fixtures in RGBA so they gotta run four faders at a time to mix a color which also means they gotta run four faders at a time to dim one fixture and not dim anything else. And that can be a challenge if you want to dim multiple fixtures but leave the colors the same. That can be difficult to do without using a Grand Master, which pulls your entire rig down. Well, the way this fixture is designed, or this console is designed, it takes all of your LED fixtures. When you patch them in, it knows what they are. Uh, we have a full library built into the patch of all the different manufacturers and their fixtures. It's not going to control any effects channels at this point. It's only going to control their color channels. So if it's an RGBA fixture, it's going to know that it's an RGBA fixture, and it's going to do the work for you to make this into an HSA console. So you're going to have intensity, color, and saturation. So right now we've got some dimmer channels on the first two channels. On the second channel, third channel, fourth channel, on up, we have some LED fixtures. So you bring them all up and they're in a color. You want to select which channel you want to adjust, adjust the color on and then I can start dialing in the color or I can push the button to step through some of the major uh, colors. I can also select them all and change them all at the same time so now they're all the same color. Or I can select individual ones and in these three of the six I can only change their colors. I've changed the color now I can dim these, keep the same color, everything else stays the same. It's much more simple than most other consoles you're gonna use. I can turn on the entire LED rig. I can do the same thing, control them all. I can do individual groups and dial them in. Now I can also come over, if I am more comfortable using say a color picker, wrong button. There are built-in pre-colors here. I can get to a color picker and now like on any other moving light console I can now go in the spectrum to where I want to be. There are also a bunch of pre-built patterns so I can just simply hit a button and get myself to a color pattern. I can go to a rainbow look. I can go to greens and yellows. I can also come and now there are pre-built chases that we can use. Hit that button and very quickly get into a chase and then I can control the speed of that chase with the chase wheel over here. Now let's say I get to this look, I like it. How do I recreate this look or how do I save this look? If I hit the record button, every button on the console that is available to store this look will start flashing. I have two chase stacks that I haven't done anything with that are available so I could, I could push one of these buttons and start building the chase stack. I can add to an existing queue list because it's the second day of the show we've already built quite a few queues. I have one additional scene button here. Now this is sort of a, uh, let's say you've got certain scenes, certain looks on the stage that you always want to have available for emergencies or just because of the scenes that you're always going to use. Let's say the walk-in look, the uh, sermon look, the message look the music look and let's say the exit look if you're in a church. You can put those here so they're always acceptable and are accessible and available. Or then we have four uh, pages worth of scenes that you can save this to. 
they're delineated by color, yellow, red, green, and blue. I go to the page, the buttons start flashing, save that on the fader 12 on page blue, turn everything off, go back into my scene, there's the entire look. I can then take all those scenes, if I want to build a bunch of them, and now just start stepping through scenes and build a queue list or build a queue stack. The scenes can include a chase, and I can still adjust the speed of the chase within the scene. All right, so the scene is a chase. I can add that to a chase stack if I wanted to, or make this now part of a queue. Or I can just make it, hey, I want to go to this look. I know where it's at. I bring it up. <clears throat> what I didn't start off with was there are 12 control channels. So no matter how many fixtures you have, you need to patch the entire thing down to within 12 groups. That's how the fixture works. Uh, if you want to add multiple dimmers to one control channel, you can. You can add multiple LEDs to one control channel if you want to. I find it easier to patch or to manually address all the LEDs to the same control or the same DMX address, and then you just do one DMX address to this. And again, it knows how many channels there are for these fixtures. Uh, but when you go to scene saving mode, there are four pages. That is a good basic overview. I don't know how much more in depth you would like for me to go with this. Well, I think it's really cool. I mean, you can go to uh, the Jans website, and one of the things is also that everything is accessible that is not on here. Everything's accessible on this little touch L LED screen, which is pretty cool. Now, what is the price and availability, MSRP and availability of this console right now? MSRP of this console in North America is $1,995. It is available and is shipping from our offices in Toronto. For customers within the United States, don't worry about customs the way we, uh, we work with our shipping. Everything to customers in the United States ships as if it was coming out of Buffalo, New York. We've taken care of the customs for you. Very, very cool. And if they want to go to the Jans website to get more information, what is their website? Jans.au.com or you can come to aclighting.com. All right. This is really, really cool, and this is definitely something that addresses a need that we've been having here for quite a while in the house of worship market, so you should look at it. Mm -hmm.